Our next session, section four, it deals with human resource planning. Our objectives for this session, uh, you should be able, after studying this session, to define and describe what HR planning is. Two, explain HR planning and its importance to work organizations. Understand how an, HR, an organization's environment, that is external and internal environment, affects HR planning. And fourth, describe the basic tools for human resource planning. Planning a definition. What is planning? It is a process of analyzing and identifying an organization's human resources so that the organization can meet its objectives. It is also described as the systematic process of setting policies governing the acquisition, use and disposition of personnel in an organization. We also say planning is a process of anticipating and making provision for the movement, that is the flow of people into, within, and out of an organization. So why HR planning? Planning enables organizations to assess the future and demand for the supply of human resources within the organization. In fact, HR planning attempts to eliminate gaps that may exist between supply and demand for human resources. It simply means that at one point in time, we shouldn't have gaps, that there are no people to work and so on, once we plan well. So HR planning facilitates the readjustment as labor market conditions and national environment change. So what are the basis for HR planning? The basis of HR planning hinges on effective human resource planning, which simply means that there is effective human resource planning when we have the right people with the right capabilities at the right time at the right place. So the relation between human resource planning and strategic planning. Strategic planning is the procedures or includes the procedures for making decisions about the organization's long-term goals and strategies. It is an organization's plan to compete successfully and thereby survive and grow in this turbulent world. Therefore, human resource planning is a key to the success of an organization's strategic plan because strategic human resource management is the link between an organization's strategic plan and its overall strategy. Strategic business planning and human resource planning. Strategic business planning enables the organization to set goals and objectives and courses of action to fulfill the organization's mission and strategic direction. In fact, the organization's human resources needs must be integrated into the organization's strategic business plan. So what are missions, visions, and values? With a mission, the mission is the basic purpose of the organization as well as its scope of operations. Strategic vision is a statement about where the company is going and what it can become in the future, clarifies the long-term direction of the company and its strategic intent. Core values, these are the strong and enduring beliefs and principles that the company uses as a foundation for its decisions. So these three things are a core part of what we call human resource planning. Environmental scanning. Environmental scanning is to identify supply and demand changes. But it is it's defined as a systematic monitoring of the major external forces influencing the organization. They include economic factors. The economic factors are the general and regional conditions that may affect the environment and then the organization as a whole. Second, competitive trends. These are new processes, services, and innovations that can affect an organization. Therefore, we need to plan for human beings with the skills to meet these competitive trends. Third, technological changes. These include robotics and office automations and so on. And therefore, we need to plan to have people that can be able to manage these things. Fourth is political and legislative issues. These include laws and administrative rulings, especially with government influences and so on. Fifth, social concerns like healthcare and educational priorities. Sixth, workforce demographic trends, that is age, composition, and literacy. So these are the main environmental factors that we need to scan. Forecasting human resource supply and demand. What is forecasting? It is the use of information, that is data, from the past and present 
to identify expected future conditions, types of forecasting. We have HR demand for labor forecast, internal supply of labor forecast, external supply of labor forecast. So forecasting periods. There are three main forecasting periods. It can be short term, that is less than one year. It can be intermediate, up to five years. It can be long range, more than five years. Accessibility of forecasting. There are two main sources to examine in terms of forecasting. We have internal sources and external sources. Forecasting HR demand, personnel needs. This means that the demand for product or services. We need people when there is demand for product and services of a particular sort, especially staffing required to achieve task, project, and output. Quality and skills of employees, projected turnover, decision to upgrade product services, new markets, and so on. We also need technological and other changes, especially financial resources and so on. All these things are internal demand and they deal with personal needs. Assessing the internal HR workforce also. That will deal with jobs and skill audit. So we ask ourselves, what jobs exist now? How many individuals are performing each job? What are the reporting relationships of the jobs? How essential is each job? What jobs will be needed to implement future organizational strategies? What are the characteristics of anticipated jobs? These are major questions that we need to ask ourselves when we are assessing the internal human resource workforce planning. So we can also ask ourselves, what are the organizational capabilities inventory? We use organizational capability inventory to determine, first of all, human resource information system, that is databases and sources of information about employees' knowledge, skills, and abilities. Components of an organizational capabilities inventory. This includes two things, that is individual employee demographics and individual career progression. So focusing HR supply. In focusing HR internal supply, we look at internal supply of the candidates involved. That includes skills inventory of the organization, manual systems and replacement charts, which will deal with two major things. That is one, personnel replacement charts, two, position replacement charts, cards that we can use. And all these things come back to what are called human resource information systems and ongoing training and development patterns of program that can help us to determine these replacement charts. So focusing external HR supply. Factors affecting external supply involves population changes and net migration for an area. That is the people coming in and going out of an area can determine the amount of people or workforce. Social attitudes towards careers and industries institutions. This includes how people look at certain jobs and so on. Are they for females? Are they for male oriented and so on. Political conditions. How are the political conditions? Is it difficult, this is turbulent in times of wars and so on, coup d'etats and so on? All this determine the supply of HR, so this, the, the supply of HR. Changing workforce composition and patterns. That is the number of young people available, the number of old people and so on, people who can work and people who cannot, cannot work. All these things also determine the work for the supply, human resource supply. Others include economic forecast, with technological development and shifts, government regulations and pressures. Other circumstances include knowledge of sources of this particular work. So HR planning is critical when the dramatic shifts in the composition of the labor force are occurring. Thus, analyzing the firm's competitive environment is central to strategic planning. The competitive environment includes the specific organizations with the firm's relationship, Firms analyze the competitive environment in order to adapt to or influence the nature of competition. This brings to forth the importance of planning. I therefore refer you to the slides on session four to read and also the reading material on session four. Thank you very much.